Hey everyone, I am T-Rex, and about a week ago I did do my review on Alien, and today I'm going to review the follow-up to that film in Aliens. This is my non-spoiler review, and I did watch the extended cut in case any of you care, that shouldn't really affect this too much. Anyways, let's get started reviewing Aliens. So Aliens picks up years after the first film as we see Ripley is found and given a mission to go back to LV-426, which is a planet with a team of space marines to go check out something that has gone wrong. Now this film feels very different to the story than the first Alien film. Whereas in the first Alien movie, the whole crew really felt outnumbered against the aliens and didn't really know how to take it on. But in Aliens, everyone is elite marines and they really are good at taking down aliens. That's right, I said Aliens, that is the title of the movie, as there are more than one. And overall, the plot moves pretty well. I think that it's an interesting plot given these really strong characters and this movie feels very different and it's a very different type of sequel and movie to the first Alien. This movie is not really a suspense horror movie like the first one. It leans much more into that action genre. I think that works really well since the marines, these space marines are rat. It's really cool to see them and you'd rather have them in an action setting really than a horror setting. Also, this movie you can tell has influenced so much in the sci-fi genre, like previous movies like Alien, Blade Runner, and other sci-fi movies from the 80s. But look, I'll give you an example. Here is an image from Aliens. Here is an image from Halo. They're the same ship. They're like so close to identical. Also, these marines feel like what every sci-fi marine has ever been based on since. Look at any video game, they look like this. And that's not a bad thing either because the sets and atmosphere in this film are great, but it just goes to show how great they are since like everyone has copied them for the past 30 years. Also, this film feels bigger than the first one. The first film really took place in only one location. This film doesn't do that and does a great job of feeling like our characters are scrambling also in the first one to get around this planet because they're just so outnumbered. The first one did a pretty great job of giving that feeling of dread that there was something always there and you couldn't outrun it. And this film had to tackle that, but differently. You can't do that with one alien on a planet. A planet's just too big. So they had multiple aliens. And I thought that was great because then you also have this feeling of just not being able to escape. James Cameron took a different route on how to make you feel that tension, but it still worked. This leads to this movie still feeling like an alien sequel with that tension, but also feeling like it is able to be its own movie and its own thing, which I think is really good, since able to keep that tension while also being an action movie. And since this is an action movie, let's talk about the action, because it's great. It's so good. Now I know, this sounds like a real big surprise because this is the guy who made Terminator 1 and 2, which are known to be some of the best action films of all time, but he does great action. James Cameron knows how to do it, and the action is great, vicious, and fast, and you get a good idea of being able to see everything, yet it also feeling like these marines are nervous and stumbling around sometimes. And I think that's a really good job being able to balance it, because it's not all shaky cam and you can't see and you're staring at the floor most of the time, but it's also not this clean one shot because it really shows this war between these guys and these girls in their suits trying to kill these aliens and these aliens being primitive just as dangerous and this terrible clash and how it always ends up. It's really good. They did a great job with the action. Now let's talk about the characters and let's first start off with Ripley played by Sigourney Weaver and yeah she's just rad in this movie. She feels so human showing in scenes that she's honestly scared for her life but she knows she has to do something about it and that she has to get out of it. Ripley is just awesome in this film, so good, we really get to see her emotions, and Gordon Weaver puts on a great performance, I don't really need to tell you that, because everyone loves Ripley, but there are newcomers of the cast, so let's talk about them, such as Newt, Newt is a child, and the stereotype with children actors, usually they're not that good, and when it comes to Newt, I thought she was fine, I like the idea of having Ripley be able to protect this child, that's a really interesting subplot, but overall, she was fine, she did a good job de delivering her lines, and I thought she did a good job doing that. So she was fine as a kid actor, <laughs> there's a lot of screaming, and if you turn your noise up too much, sometimes it pierces your eardrums and you just want to fall onto the floor screaming. Like, she has the loudest frequency, and at points it is unholy. You could have an alien scream from this film, and a newt scream. And it's just like, oh my gosh, someone needs to be quiet because her scream is so shrill. Sounds like a child though. It definitely does sound like a child during an airplane. So they really nailed the yelling child part. And overall, I'm just joking around, but she's fine. Newt's fine. Next, on to the next character. Ah, we get to talk about Hicks next, who is played by Michael Bean. Right? Is that how you say it? Okay, 
that's my only attempt for a hard name for the rest of this video but if you know if you've seen terminator it's the same guy he's returned uh kyle reese is back in this film and yeah he's great i really liked him in this film um he was really fun and i really liked his character because he seems really human he has that trait of where he wants to really help people there's also bill paxton's character hudson and he's pretty great if i was gonna act like one of them i'd probably act like him where he's just running around just ticked off and annoyed and scared that's how i would act <laughs> He's pretty great. I like him a lot where he's just screaming, We gotta get out of here, man! Yeah, he's awesome. Bill Paxson was great in the movie. This film has pretty great characters, and I did talk about last time how Alien, there was a character where there was a pretty good twist. They tried to do something sort of like this in this one, and it's fine. Uh, a person gets a good death, so good death scene. It's creepy. Also, the Alien. Let's talk about the Alien. This isn't in the script. I'm actually going off the rails with this. The aliens are great. I forgot to write about them in my script, but man, they are awesome. Uh, they're creepy. The work they're done with, so good. They look so real and practical still today, and this movie came out like 30 years ago. Really well done on their part. I love the aliens in this film. They're still great. Also, I just love the mythology. I don't know why, but this alien universe is so good. I just really enjoyed it. I love the whole idea of this sequel, and I love how it feels like a sequel that doesn't really go too crazy in where it goes, but it really feels like a movie that really built off of the first one and went for a different style, and it really paid off. This film, just like the original Alien, really set a benchmark for future sci-fi action movies to come, as it gave us really iconic sets, and it's one heck of a ride. If you watch this movie, you're definitely going to enjoy it. It can be creepy at times, action-packed at times, and has a real sense of heart to it. I just loved it. It was so good. I really loved watching this movie. This was definitely a worthy sequel to the original. And with that, I am going to say that Aliens is awesome. I know that I've been throwing around that rating a little bit willy-nilly, but honestly, I'm only giving these films to films I think truly deserve it and are films that I honestly love. And so far, I have been on an absolute hot streak with movies that I've been watching and recommending. And tell me, do you love it? Or and do you sit in the alien camp or the aliens camp? Which one do you prefer more? I'd love to know. Me, right now, I don't know. I need more time again to watch this. I watched the first film a week ago for the first time, and I watched this literally like three hours ago for the first time. But right now, I don't know. I might lean a bit more towards alien. I just love the atmosphere in that film so much. But I also love the sci-fi elements in Aliens, so I don't know. I'll sit right in the middle of the fence, and whichever way you want me to lean, I'll lean that way, whatever. But anyways, what would you guys like me to see next? I know that I've been giving a lot of good reviews out, but if you want me to, I can review Alien 3. I know that it doesn't have that great of reviews, but I'm willing to take that bullet to let you know if it is good or not and give my opinions on it. That could be a good way to end out the trilogy. Or I can just call it a day with the original two. Tell me what you want me to do in the comment section below. If not, if I don't do that, I think I will be reviewing another sci-fi action game in Destiny 2. I think that's somewhat of a good translation from Alien to more of a sci-fi game. So maybe I'll review all of Destiny 2. That's going to be a big project if I undertake that. But it'll be good, hopefully. But it might take a lot longer, so I don't know. I'm Whenever it happens, I'll see you then. Bye.